Fed up with budget problems, New York's governor, David Patterson, announced plans to lay off thousands of state workers. Going to fire them. Patterson's term is up this fall, so will the incoming governor also fire them? My next guest wants to call that shot. He wants to be the next governor of New York, Rick Lazio. He is the Republican candidate. Uh, Mr. Congressman, welcome back. Good Thank to you, you Stuart. Great to be on again. Okay. Feels great. Now, the plan is, Governor Patterson's plan, yes. the federal, uh, judge won't let him furlough state workers. He says, fire them January the 1st. If you're the governor, will you fire them? The state is broke. We don't have the money. We have to shrink the size of the workforce. And yes, layoffs have got to be on the table. You will do it. If we need to do it, the unions are going to have a choice. They will either come up with savings comparable to the layoffs, or we will do the layoffs. There is no other choice. The state can't afford it. We're defaulting on payments. We're in a fiscal free fall. I don't know what people don't understand about that, but we've got to take some dramatic action to save the state. Well, you and Andrew Cuomo, by the way, won't say anything on this. I don't know when people are going to start well, holding him accountable. But he wants to get elected. Yeah, but maybe in New York State you cannot get elected if you say, I'm going to fire government work. Where's the leadership, though, Stuart? Where's the leadership? Don't people want to know the character of the person who steps up and is going to make these tough changes? We're looking at a $10 billion current year deficit and another $30 billion over the next three years. This is a, a mismanaged state. It's probably the worst state government in America, maybe worse than California. We, we've got debt skyrocketing. We've got public employee salaries going through the roof. We've got pension costs that are exploding. Yep. All, and, and, they have the to, and they have to be reined in. And you need to have a leader, not who is playing political games, not who is an insider like Andrew Cuomo, who's been in all but basically his whole, whole political life. And everything is calculated okay, for political it, gain. It, but it, someone's going to step up New for the New York State. Charles. Rick, yeah, Rick, first yeah. of all, I want to tell you, since you won the official nominee, you've got that swagger. Okay? <laughs> thank so you, Charles. We can feel it when you thank, walk thank in the room. You, okay, you. Cuomo's running with uh, his running mate, getting two pensions. Right. Are you going to make a big deal out of this? This guy is getting, this, is the, this goes to the heart of the problem. I mean, earlier this week, the New York Daily News had an article about uniform uh, workers getting 190000 a year. I think this is becoming a big issue around the country, particularly New York. Are you going to make that a big, big deal? Absolutely. This is a double-dipping situation. So Andrew Cuomo comes out. He brags about how he's taking on double-dipping, which is the practice of getting paid and getting a pension on top of it. And then who does he name as his running mate? Somebody who is the poster child for double, double dipping, making $200,000 a year as mayor of Rochester and a New York State pension on top of that. So you're looking at somebody now who's making more than the governor of New York. That's the kind of abuse. It's not illegal. I'm not saying it's illegal. I'm saying it's an abuse of the system. You it's got to be reined in. You cannot fix contracts, pension contracts, which have already been signed. We can and that's what's breaking the state. But we can avoid having it be, be repeated. We, we don't have to replicate that error. We can Understood. start with new pe pe people coming in. We've got to set limits right now, Stuart, and we're just not doing Might it. Might not be enough. Trent. Voters hate when you cut government jobs. They hate when you cut education even more. What are you going to do about education? Because that also goes to the matter of teachers' pensions. That's a big part of it. Well, educational spending in New York, we spend more per student than any other state in the entire country. And our results, quite frankly, are mediocre. So we've got to get better results for the amount of money we're spending. The spending right now is unsustainable. At least the increases are unsustainable. And you know, again, if, if we want private sector yeah. job growth, if we really want to grow our state, we really want jobs, you can't continue to grow the public sector, increase taxes, increase spending, borrow, and push it all on to the next generation. You it destroys it. the incentive to grow the economy. Congressman, you got it. You got it. You got it. But can you the election in New York State telling the voters, I am going to inflict pain. You bet. This, you're going to do bet. that? You Chris Christie, Chris Christie, Chris Christie, Christie did it. That's I think Chris exactly Christie right. set the way for this, Stuart. We wouldn't be having this conversation if Christie didn't win. If Corzine was re-elected, we would not be having There's this conversation. There's something going on in politics because that's exactly what European leaders are saying. That's right. You're going to take some pain now because we're up against the it's, wall. And it's you're a, gro do it's a growing maturity on the part, I think, of the electorate and the political class to step up and do what needs to be done. I didn't create this problem. I'm going to fix it under my watch, though. I promise you that. I think he's got a new swagger. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. All right, Congressman Rick Lazio, the Republican candidate for governor of New York State. We thank you very much for joining us. Great this to be on again. Thank Appreciate you all. It. It's the